Jerusalem, when Israeli news anchors announced Sunday evening that four-year-old Abigail Iden was among the third group of hostages released from Gaza by Hamas. It seemed as if the entire Jewish state breathed a collective sigh of relief. The curly-haired baby, an American citizen whose parents were brutally ed by Hamas terrorists on a kibbutz in southern Israel on October 7, is just one of hundreds of horrific stories that have captured the public's attention here over the past seven weeks. But her release and that other Israeli children can be seen as a clear symbol of psychological warfare being waged by terrorists as part ongoing ceasefire agreement between Israel and terrorist group that rules Palestinian territory against the Israelis. It's a real-life psychological thriller over last three days since the ceasefire took effect early Friday morning, with promise that about 40 children, their mothers and perhaps even their grandmothers would be released after nearly 50 days of captivity by Hamas. Some say it's a continuation of the fictional survival theme of Suzanne Collins' popular trilogy, The Hunger Games. Under the U.S. Qatar Egypt brokered ceasefire, Hamas each day provides Israel with list the names of about dozen civilians it kidnapped during terrorist attack, and Israel in turn provides them with list about 30 Palestinian prisoners. It would release mostly women and children convicted of terrorist crimes and also allow truckloads of aid, including much needed fuel, to enter Gaza. This is apparently a process designed to cause maximum anxiety and terror, at least on the Israeli side. As Israeli media, government officials, and relatives of hostages count down each day to scheduled release, Hamas, apparently aware that hostage-taking has outgrown approximately 200 people it currently holds, is inventing countless warnings and obstacles that only worsen situation. It makes the event much more traumatic and stressful. For example, the first group of hostages released on Friday evening, which included 13 Israelis, mostly elderly women, and an additional 11 Thai citizens was Hannah Katzier. On November 9, Katzier, 77, appeared a disturbing hostage video in which the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, another terrorist group operating Gaza, said it wanted to release him due to humanitarian concerns. However, a week later, instead of releasing him, the group announced his death. There is also the story of 13-year-old Hila Rodham, the schoolgirl, who was kidnapped with her mother Raya, was alone when she returned to Israel on Saturday, October 7. Even though Hamas had agreed not to separate families under the terms of ceasefire agreement, According to media reports, Hamas told negotiators that they had lost track of Raya. Meanwhile, Hila said that the two were together until Friday when they were forcibly separated. There are many other cases where Hamas has separated children from their parents or grandparents and wives from their husbands. Once, AU.